these children are learning about what to do when they hear gunfire. It's a necessary aspect of the curriculum when it comes to this part of Cape Town. This school was among 14 that were forced to close when gang violence increased recently. Every student has a story. Four weeks ago, I was walking in Manenberg Avenue and they were shooting around me. I didn't know which way to go, so I just had to turn around and duck and dive. So yeah, I'm lucky to be here. Rival gangs were battling for territory to sell drugs. Shootings tripled and more than 50 people were killed or injured before a peace agreement was reached. Nearly $600,000 has been diverted from the city's education budget to put dozens of extra police on patrol. That hurts because that money is meant for other things. That money is meant for quality education and shouldn't be pushed into safety. But quite frankly, you can't run a school when the bullets are flying, so the first priority must be that the school doors can actually open. This is the side of Cape Town few tourists see. Many people here feel forgotten. A gang offers protection, a sense of family and a way to make money. After 18 years in prison for murder, one gang leader told us he's trying to deter students from following in his footsteps. I tell them, at the end of the day, to be a gangster, you either go to prison or you die. There's no way you're going to survive if you are into gangsterism. Police watch over the students as they leave school. At night, they seize drugs and weapons. This is Mendrix. Yep, yep. At the moment, police are conducting raids like this every night. But for every alleged drug dealer arrested here, dozens of his rivals may live nearby. So by tomorrow morning, someone will have taken his place. They've been raiding some of these houses for years. That's a sign it may take more than policing to bring permanent peace. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.